Hello my friends and welcome back. It's been a couple weeks. I think the schedule will work out a little better for me. Give me a chance to work on some commissions that I have as well as making sure I can get some fun videos out. Maybe something a little more involved just given how long it takes to crochet something. Tomorrow is everybody's favorite Hallmark holiday. I personally celebrate by sending my husband pictures of Valentine's throughout the first half of February. Every day. Every year. Keeping the romance alive. So in honor of Valentine's Day, I wanted to make something pink. And since the contents of last, not last week, the, the last Crochet Society box that I opened were pink, and I had some extra. I just decided to use that yarn again. And what says Valentine's more than an amigurumi axolotl? I don't know how y'all celebrate Valentine's, but I'm celebrating with an amigurumi axolotl. So I'm still not gonna say let's get started, but we're gonna go do the thing. Now before we actually get started on anything, I wanted to show off my new business cards. Super excited with how these turned out. And if you commissioned something from me, you can get your hands on one of these babies too. What is an axolotl, you may ask? This is an axolotl. Here's a little doodle of what I would like to crochet this week, along with a cameo of last week's butterfly cat. Oh hey, it's this box again. Let's fish out that yarn from last week. I've got some DK or sport weight yarn in opal as well as rose quartz. This week I will be using a D hook or 3.25 millimeter, big scissors, Watch me struggle while I make sure this is all centered. Last thing you'll need is approximately 50 yarn needles. I keep losing them, so I went ahead and bought the big pack. I've actually got affiliate links for some of my favorite tools down in the description, so make sure to check those out if you want to go ahead and try to recreate any of my creations. Speaking of, if you do happen to make anything based off of any of my videos that you've watched, make sure to tag me in social media on either Facebook or Instagram. Gotten a start on the head of our axolotl, and usually I'll work pieces starting from the top of the head down and from the bottom up on the body. This time I'm going to work the entire head, body, and tail in one solid piece. You can see I've also placed a stitch marker to help me keep track of which row I'm on and where that row begins. Alright, I just need to pull my sketchbook again here and compare this 3D piece to my doodle to make sure I am getting this shape where I want it. And I'm not. That's right, I can rip out a couple stitches and just do it again. That's gotta be a metaphor. It is now. Now I've considered doing a couple of one-off videos, nothing on a particular schedule, 
but a couple videos going through tutorials on how to do either certain stitches or certain crochet techniques. Would this be something that you would all find interesting? Are there crochet tutorials that you would like to see that you have not been able to find on the internet? What's another crochet tutorial? What's another tutorial on YouTube? That's pretty much what it is. YouTube poops and tutorials. Time to get stuffed. Or, you know, stuff the axolotl. It always amazes me how much stuffing you can stuff inside of a stuffy. Stuff, 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 stuff. Now that the body is formed, I can start to shape the tail. And continuing to shape the tail within frame. Once I have the tail to the desired length, I can go ahead and cinch it up and sew it shut. Guess who lost their yarn needles again? Good thing I have about 50 more left. The body and head are all completed and looking questionable in shape as usual. The shape actually reminds me of the bottle nipple from a calf feeding bottle. Now I just need to add some feet to this friend. For a brief interruption while I help one of my kids with their schoolwork. Shout out to all the parents out there who are juggling working along with teaching their kids from home. Hell, shout out to the teachers that are teaching during all of this craziness. Y'all rock. All four feet are done and lined up so they're looking aesthetically pleasing. Gotta mess that up. And attach them to my axolotl. Time to get started on those signature axolotl frills. Now 
that the bases of the frills are finished, I can sew all six of them on and then get to the really fun part. After I've apparently already done the fun part on the tail. That's okay, I end up redoing it later anyway. one side of the head, now to get started on the other side. head frills are done so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tail frills here and redo them they need a little more volume much better kind of matches the volume and frill factor <laughs> of the head frills now I just need a little bit of black so I can go ahead and embroider on the face Don't like the shape of that mouth. Let's pull it out and redo it. Woo, that escalated quickly. But they are complete and looking great. So, happy Valentine's Day to y'all. However you celebrate, whether it be with some self-love or some love with your significant other or others, I hope it's a good one. I love the little frills on this friend. I think they need some kind of name. So slap your suggestions down in the comment section on what we should name this friend. They turned out pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. Those frills. The frills. No toe beans this week. Thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate the crap out of you. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, 
check out my social medias. I can be found on Instagram as well as Facebook. And then I do have some patterns available in my Etsy and Ravelry shops. I also have some ready-made items in my Etsy shop ready to ship out. And with that, we'll see you all in two weeks. Take care, everybody. Okay, I love you, bye. Hopefully the heater is not too loud. It's cold down here. My snacks out of the way. So in honor of Valentine's Day, I wanted to do something. Hold on, the children are feeding themselves. Y'all mind? Okay. That's all right, I need some good uh, blooper fodder. You're my favorite blooper. You found the scooper? Thank you for clarifying. What even is my life?